Hello Aries, this is you versus them. This is for the 1st of April through the 15th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Please show me messages for Aries and the person that they are thinking about here today. Please show me messages for Aries. Let's see. What were Aries past issues in this relationship? Ten of Swords. Felt like it was a lot of mind games being played. Um, not enough emotion being shown here. Not enough positive emotion anyway. I feel there's a lot of negativity and that maybe you guys always felt like, you know, you never knew what was going to happen. You never knew if it was going to end. Um, never knew if you guys were going to stop talking. It was like a lot of things I feel that um, you took issue with in this connection with this individual. Okay. It could have been a Gemini you guys were dealing with. What were their past issues in the relationship? The Six of Pentacles, they were selfish. <laughs> they were selfish. I feel that maybe this person um, felt like you guys wanted too much here. You expected too much here. Like no matter what they did, they felt like um, it was never good enough is what I'm getting, okay? What's keeping Aries from this person? What's keeping Aries from this person? What's keeping Aries from this person? The Page of Wands, you just don't want to be bothered with the nonsense anymore. Okay, I think, you know, for you guys, it's like you have this person pegged, you know, exactly what they're about. And you're just not wanting to deal with all the mind games, the feelings of betrayal, thinking that this person was um, involved with someone else. It's like, I feel that you guys are just kind of over it, actually. Okay, what's keeping this person from Aries? What's keeping this person from Aries, from coming towards Aries? The Four of Cups. Hmm. This person feels like you're not going to want to reconnect with them. That you will not want to extend your emotions anymore to this situation. I feel that this person is also very stubborn. They definitely want to reconnect, but... What I'm getting is they're used to you always like, you know, reaching out, extending to them. Okay. And that's kind of what they're expecting right now. What's currently going on for Aries? What's currently going on for Aries? The Queen of Cups, living life, loving life, doing you. Okay, taking care of your family, just just doing things that you feel are good for you and necessary, you know, for your mental health, for your mental stability, for your mental, physical happiness. You're just doing you, okay? Just doing you. Let's see, you guys may have cancer in your chart or maybe a cancer Taurus individual um, that is significant for some of you. What's currently going on for them? What's currently going on for them? The other person. The Knight of Cups. Maybe they're dating. Um, maybe they are seeking to come towards you guys. But they're definitely doing something that they feel like um, makes them happy. Okay. Going for things that make them happy. Flirting, being charismatic, I feel. What's influencing Aries right now? What's influencing Aries right now? The Queen of Pentacles. 
A lot to do with finances, I feel. A lot to do with your family. Um, and maybe you guys are, you know, parents here. Um, but all about building up, you know, securing your livelihood, I feel. Securing the bag. Doing what you love. Taking care of the people that you love. And you're busy doing that. You're, you're trying to have some forward movement here and not trying to look back. Okay. Basically, what's influencing the other person? What's influencing that other person currently? What's influencing that other person currently? The King of Pentacles. You guys have a lot of mirroring going on here. I tell you that. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking this person's focus is more on you. You're forward facing. This King of Pentacles is looking back at the Four of Cups thinking, you know, are, is Aries going to reach out to me? I'm not reaching out to them. But deep down inside, you know, that's exactly what they want to do. But I feel that they know that you guys feel betrayed. They know the mind games that they've played with you. They know the selfishness that they have exhibited with you. And I feel like that's what's holding them back is the fact that you guys are woke. But here I see you're definitely like a couple, even though you're probably not together. Because I see an ending here with that Ten of Swords. I definitely see an ending here. But I get that one point in time, you guys were either very committed or married or something like that in a long-term relationship for a lot of you. This po person's focus on the past. Focus on what you guys had. Reconnecting. Waiting on you. And you were forward facing. Okay. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? The Nine of Swords. I feel that a lot of you guys are, you know, emotionally, I feel like you guys are stable. But I feel like you have a tendency to um, still kind of think about the hurt that you, you felt at the hands of this individual. You know, you, you, you kind of reminisce or um, you think about this periodically. Even though I feel you moving on, that hurt is still um, there. So what I'm getting is that, you know, there, there's something that triggers you now and then okay definitely but you know you know how to get out of this and maybe it just has not been long enough you know that you guys just kind of go back and forth maybe you know more time lapses in between you going back and thinking about this but um, yeah I think it's still present whatever this individual you feel like they've done to you <clears throat> what's coming in for the other person what's coming in for the other person the ten of cups relationship happiness feeling you know feeling pretty good pretty damn good you know it, it really can't get much better than a ten of cups the way in the in, in regards to the way that they feel so I feel like there's a relationship or either a situation that they are exploring that's currently, um, you know, making them happy. Here. Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer energy here as well. Gemini, I feel for sure. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What is the advice for Aries? The advice for Aries. Keep doing you. Believe in yourself. And don't accept anything less than what you know you deserve, okay? Um, stand by your morals and your principles. 
okay? Stand by your morals and your principles. And do not look back. What would be the advice for them? What would be the advice for them? Page of Cups. Be a little more emotional, okay? Not so stern, not so stubborn. Everything's not all about um, logic and reasoning. Especially not when it comes to matters of the heart. So if they need to make an apology, I feel that an apology is warranted here. An expression of emotion. An offer of some sort. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for Aries? Please show me the outcome for Aries. The Eight of Pentacles. I feel you guys will continue to work on yourself, continue to work towards, um, you know, gaining that that financial security that you're looking for. Okay, because I feel you guys trying to get to the Ten of Pentacles. You know that that stability that you you seek, that commitment in a relationship that you seek. Maybe some of you guys have entered into new relationships here. And you're working, um, you're working on that, building on that. Okay. What is the outcome for them? Uh -uh. Change, movement, travel, communication. Mm -hmm. Communication. A lot of movement, a lot of change, a lot of... This person may be dating currently, okay? They may be dating currently. So I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card to close out your reading here. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Aries? What other messages do we have for Aries? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Hmm. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. But what I was going to say is, you know, this can very well be a um, your soulmate here. Because again, I see a lot of mirroring. I see a cycle that you guys have been in with this person. This person may reach out to you. This person may have the expectations of getting back into a connection with you guys here with this Ten of Cups. They, they know they have to do something here to, to, to bring about a change in this situation. And I see change coming in for them. I see communication coming in for them. If you guys have not been speaking, um, nine times out of ten, this person probably will be contacting you guys in, in the next, I would say, two months or so for some of you. 